here's something that's 3D printed. It shattered. <laughs> so that's the 3D printed piece. To be fair, this is a SLA resin print, but it illustrates the point that even though something may seem simple doesn't mean that it is, and just because you could make something that looks similar doesn't mean that it's going to perform similarly. People reach out and they tell us all the time that, hey, I can 3D print this thing for 30 bucks. Why are you guys selling it for $39.99? And I can tell you for a fact that no, you can't. And even if you could, even if you could produce it, it just wouldn't be the same. There's so much that goes into creating a mass-produced product like Mute Me. When we make a product, we have to make it work for hundreds of thousands of users using all types of different configurations and platforms. Just getting the capacitive touch to work with all kinds of different bodies and humidity levels is extremely difficult. This difficulty is exemplified by our software. The software has 20,000 lines of code that was developed by us to give you that integration with different conferencing platforms and just works seamlessly. Plus, we have all types of other expenditures like warehousing and office space, materials and office supplies, employee and payroll costs, import and shipping, marketing and content creation, platform fees, legal, intellectual property, and even equipment. Even things like the packaging costs money and requires massive design work. For a new company like us, research and development costs are also a major factor. We're working on new products and new features all the time. One year after releasing the first device, we released the Mini, and our goal is to release the Mute Me Click early next year. This takes tremendous resources. We love 3D printing, but to think that you can 3D print something that looks similar to get the same level of quality and performance is just silly. Our device is extremely strong and sturdy. I said I was gonna do it in one of the videos, might as well be this one. That's that device, right there. Let's keep it on the camera. Let's keep it on the camera. Bring it over here. Look at that. 3D printed parts are just not as strong as regular injection molded parts. This device, even though it's super light, is basically an injection molded device. It has pillars that run through the center. It's made out of stainless steel on the top. You saw me stand on it. It can withstand over, you know, 200 pounds of force <laughs> placed onto it. You saw me smash it into the table. Right, and there's not even a scratch on it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but there's not even a scratch on the device. In fact, the device is so strong that we have a hard time when we need to do failure analysis or inspect the devices. We have to bust out the Dremel and literally cut open the devices. So yes, the device costs more than what other products that may look similar cost, and it is not the same as going out there and 3D printing your own device.